everyone, my name is Melody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about steno. I graduated from Mark Kisling Mary's Academy in 17 months at 280 words per minute. I believe a large part of my success was due to the fact that I learned the steno alphabet before ever stepping foot in school. So I want to give you the same opportunity without having to purchase a single book. Um, so I'm going to have a 10 part series five minutes each and I'm going to go through all of the alphabet in steno. Do not worry about if your theory, uh, what theory that you're going to end up using because all of the theories pretty much use the same alphabet save one or two letters so you can go ahead and learn it. The first thing I want to talk about is the difference between our keyboard, the keyboard that we use as court reporters, and the QWERTY keyboard. The main and obvious difference is the fact that um, it is a compact keyboard and this is because we cannot have our hands going all over the place when we are typing or else we would not be able to get up to 200 to 300 words per minute. So we keep our hands very close to our body in very short strokes, uh, close strokes, and we can reach up to 300 words per minute like this. The second difference is the fact that our keyboard is phonetic and it's not based on a spelling. So cat is K-A-T. The third difference is that we write all of the keys all at once. So we will write K-A-T, one stroke. And um, on the quarter keyboard, that would be three strokes, C-A-T. So this saves a lot of time because we can get through phrases and words very quickly. For instance, at the end of the day for me, that one phrase at the end of the day would be one stroke and so as you can see we can get through words very quickly unlike on the QWERTY keyboard and that is how we're able to get to 225 and 300 words per minute. On the center keyboard there are 13 consonants and 4 vowels. With these 13 consonants and 4 vowels we are able to do 51 different sounds. That's basically what theory is about, learning those 51 different sounds. That's what I'll be teaching you in these coming videos. In my very next video, I am going to go over the three things that you need to get started. How to set up your machine, how to sit, etc. Um, and if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and like this video and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Also, go ahead and check out my blog, which is thesimplebrief.com. On that blog, you'll find a lot of information for freelancers, captioners, people wanting to get into real time or wanting to get into captioning. There's lots of information on there and a lot of, there's a student area with lots of information for students no matter where you are at in theory or speed. So go ahead and check that out and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.